Hey guys, welcome back. In the last lecture, we created booking and customer models for our course project and defined the required association. Now, in this lecture, we need to create a booking form inside the workshop detail page so that a customer can book tickets for workshop. Okay, so to do that, first open the show.html.erv of the workshop. So go to the project directory and here you can find the show.html.erv inside the app views workshops. Okay, now here you can see that we divided the DOM into columns of 8 and 4. So here you can see that this is the column of 8 where we are displaying this uh, workshop detail here. Okay, and in this section of or grid of 4 column, we will implement the booking form. Okay, so let's start building the booking form. Okay, so first uh, you need to define a card element in, the, in this column 4. So give class card and then shadow and then just provide it a margin from bottom so you can provide let's say mb3 okay and then inside this card you need to define a card body so let's say to give class card body okay and inside the, this body we need to define our or we need to design our booking form okay so first add the title for your form here you can provide h4 class card title and then mb2 okay and just to provide a text here like let's say reserve your seats now and save this and let's refresh the page to see that whether this card has take place or not okay so you can see that the card is appearing now okay now in this lecture uh, now in this part we uh, sorry in this card we define the form okay so to define the form first uh, let's create a form which take in for the rails okay so here you can define form and then url okay here i am using the url not the model instance because i am making this as a custom form because this will have some attributes that we do not save in the database like card details okay so that's why i am providing here url option okay and for now i am just providing the hash when when we implement the controller for booking create the booking then we will add url here okay for now you can just use url with hash option and let's provide data and in this data you need to write turbo false okay because by default rails will rail 7 will submit this form as turbo stream okay but we want to avoid that okay so let's remove that and provide a form builder object here form okay and now close this form tag okay now first we need to add the workshop id as hidden field because we are creating booking for currently visited workshop so we need its id okay so let's create a hidden field here so what we can do here form dot hidden field okay and then in this hidden field you can provide workshop id workshop underscore id and what should be the value of this is value at the red workshop dot id id okay save this sorry yeah save this and now after this hidden field we can define uh, form control for the for capturing the customer data like full name email and contact number okay so let's create give class form group okay and then in this form group what we can define that first add a label so form dot label and then full name okay and add a class here class mb2 mt2 mb2 mt2 okay so it will add margin from bottom and top by 2 pixel okay now let's define form dot text field here okay form dot text field and at the same value full name 
okay and edit class here and what should be class that form control and also add required true here okay because we need a validation here so we are now only adding the basic HTML validation that is required true okay save this and now just to copy this form group and use the same thing for email and contact number okay so copy it and paste here and replace this full name by email okay and do the same thing for contact number what we can provide here let's say full name and replace it by contact number okay. save it and now we need the same thing same field uh, same input control for capturing the number of input or number of seats sorry uh, or number of tickets that you want to book for that workshop so here you can add let's say label number of seats you want to book okay. and now here you need to mention number of tickets number of okay and just make sure that replace this text field by number field because we will capture tickets in integer form so we need to add number of tickets here okay and here you can make one thing that minimum value should be one okay and maximum value should be sorry and max value should be at the rate workshops remaining seats okay because uh, uh, suppose if you have booked zero seats or if a workshop has no booking then it should display the maximum number of seats equal to its total seats and if uh, the workshop has uh, 20 bookings or 20 seats has been booked for that workshop then it should be uh, showing the maximum seats or maximum value as 80 okay so what we can do here that at the rate workshop dot remaining seats okay now save this and refresh your page so here you can see some data here okay so now this is the minimum field one and when you keep check for the maximum value then you can see that it will be stop on 100 why because it has remaining seats count of 100 okay now let's add form fields for capturing the car details okay because we added the fields for uh, customer data okay and the number of tickets now it's time to add the details for car details okay so add a separator here uh, let's say h4 and add some class here which is mt4 mb3 okay and now write some text here let's say car details okay save this and now add an hr here okay horizontal line because it will give a proper divider and now you need to define the same thing okay so copy and paste here form group and you can change the label by card number okay and this is the card number that we will ask from user to provide and then we will submit it on stripe okay now since the other three attributes will be very smaller input controls like cvv expiry month and expiry year so let's add a row class here because we will display them in a single row okay so div class row okay and inside this div class row what we can define that first you need to define a column of six div class call sorry call lg six Just close it and now make it sorry copy this and here you need to make the same thing and replace it by call lg3 okay and then three again okay and now in this call lg3 you need to define a form group which captures the cvv of the customer card okay so just copy this and here you can provide cvv okay so let's write this 
okay and here you can provide cvv okay so replace this by cvv okay and now what you need to provide that you need to provide the expiry month and expiry year okay and here you can make one validation that max length can be four only okay you cannot provide more than five characters in a cvv okay and now let's provide the value for selecting expiry month okay so what we can add here let's say exp month and just to make this text field as number field okay and provide a minimum value here like let's say minimum one in one and max 12 okay and uh, now we need to do the same thing for expiry year okay so there we can set the minimum value about uh, sorry first uh, make it column 3 okay now first save it sorry paste it and here we can add a exp year and here as well okay and make it minimum value as 2022 and maximum value must be 2026 let's say okay and save it now okay now refresh your form okay so here you can see that we have okay it is breaking something so you can make a title as uh, let's say month and here we can add only year so our row will not be break okay so now you can refresh okay so here you can see we have cvv month and year okay and the minimum value of year will be 22 23 okay now what we need to provide that we need to write it here like uh, let's say a form button we need because when we submit this form so we need a button okay so now what we can do that minimize this row okay and after minimizing this row you can add a class here let's say div class and provide it at d grid okay because bootstrap is bootstrap 5 is not supporting the button block buttons okay block button is the button which takes the entire area of your column grid okay so bootstrap 4 removed the block button block class so we will add this d grid and gap 2 class okay so provide gap 2 here and this div and in this div we need to add submit button so we can add it like at the sorry form dot submit and provide a value here book your seats now or book your tickets now now okay and now add the class here for button so we can add btn btn outline danger and then btn lg okay and empty tree provided some margin from top okay and now save it so when you refresh the page you will see this button okay so this is our booking form that we will use for or we will allow customer to book workshop using this form okay so here customer will provide its name and email contact number number of sheets that he want to book and here he can provide its or his card details okay and we will capture this card detail for uh, creating a stripe card for that customer and using that card we will charge them for the workshop okay now we will use this form in upcoming lectures to book tickets for customers but uh, for this lecture we are done okay and uh, you should watch this lecture and try building this form at your end in the next lecture we will discuss about setting up the stripe account and how to use stripe keys as env variable in our rail set okay so thanks for watching this and let's meet into the next lecture we, we where we will see how to create stripe, stripe account and how to set up environment variable for stripe keys okay till then tata goodbye take care and stay safe